In 2010, the New Zealand Golf Hall of Fame was established to honour and safeguard the memories of those who've made a lasting footprint on the game in this country. The first two golfers to be inducted were our major winners, Sir Bob Charles and Michael Campbell. Then in 2012, two new members were added, New Zealand's greatest amateur, Stuart Jones, and arguably our finest female golfer, Oliver Hollis. And this year, two new inductees were added. The origins of golf in New Zealand lay firmly at the feet of Charles Ritchie Howden, who introduced the sport to this country and who would become known as the father of New Zealand golf. Howden was born in Edinburgh in 1839, moving to Dunedin at the age of 23. He brought with him his passion for whisky and golf, and while his distillery didn't stand the test of time, that other famous Scottish pastime did. In September 1871, a golf club was formed in Dunedin with Charles Howden as its first club captain. A year later, the Otago City Council gave permission for a course to be laid out and Howden was the designer. He returned to Great Britain, but when Howden made his way back to New Zealand in 1889, the seed he had planted had grown. Interest in the sport had taken hold in Otago, Christchurch, Wellington and Auckland. The Howden name is legendary in New Zealand golf, and it's fitting that the man who introduced the game and who was recognised as the father of New Zealand golf is recognised as a member of the New Zealand Golf Hall of Fame. Arthur Donald Stewart Duncan is intrinsically linked with golf in New Zealand as a prolific winner of championships and a devoted administrator of the sport he loved. Born in Ceylon, Arthur Duncan came to New Zealand in 1884, where he attended Whanganui Collegiate and excelled in rugby, cricket and athletics. But it was golf he chose, and golf where he excelled beyond pair. He won his first New Zealand amateur crown in 1899, and a staggering nine more titles followed by 1926. During this period, he won three New Zealand Open Championships to dominate the amateur game in New Zealand for a quarter of a century and earn the title of the greatest of them all. Duncan was described as having a rhythmical swing and mastery of his irons, qualities that enabled him to play to a scratch handicap well into his 60s. He had the unique distinction in his 60th year of leading the amateur field in the Open Championship of 1935, something that had never been done before and certainly not achieved since. It was said of Arthur Duncan that no one ever played with him without being better for it, and that was reflected off the course too, where Duncan served for many years as president of the Wellington Golf Club, as a member of the Council of the New Zealand Golf Association, and ultimately as president of the National Association in 1950. Arthur Duncan passed away a year later, aged 75, but his name and his legacy live on, not just on the countless trophies he won, but as a member of the New Zealand Golf Hall of Fame.